to break any more records. I'm done with these records. Okay, so yesterday we hit 102 degrees in Salt Lake City, breaking our old daily record. And we just keep adding on to our triple digit days. So far this year, we've seen 31 days at or above 100 degrees, shattering our old record of 21 days. So my goodness, this has been an insanely hot year. Also shattering our record of days at or above 95 degrees. And we have more records expected over the next couple days. But let's start off with a beautiful view up in the Uintas this last weekend. Luz Hernandez sent us this photo, posted it to Utah's Weather Authority Facebook group. And I just want to take a step out of the way. Look how pretty that looks out there. Uh, just quiet, peaceful, so much solitude. And then as we start our days, we get the heat that kind of builds in. And we're going to see that again this afternoon. A live look from Provo, the camera up at BYU. You've got blue sky, sunshine. You're seeing that up at Deer Valley, Bald Mountain. Really pretty look, uh, but it feels hot as soon as you walk outside. And it's going to be another one of those days. Upper 80s in Salt Lake City. It feels like 86, but we're climbing fast today. Look at these temperatures. You've got the upper 80s for most folks across the Wasatch Front. Low 80s already in Park City. Low 70s in Bear Lake. 77 on the board in Logan with 87 down in St. George. And we're going to climb pretty fast today. Clear skies all across the Beehive State. That's going to be the case. Lots of sunshine today as big high pressure is still in place. And my goodness, this high pressure, it has been dominating for the last seven days. And this is going to continue to strengthen as we go into midweek. So yes, that means temperatures are going to get even hotter as we dive into our Tuesday and our Wednesday. You can see we have heat advisories in place for the Wasatch Front, our western desert that stretches down into southern Utah, and then those excessive heat warnings in lower Washington County. They last until 8 o'clock tonight. And so we're dealing with dangerously hot temperatures as we dive into our afternoon again today. And I know we're kind of getting used to this, but make sure you're taking good care of yourself when we're dealing with this kind of heat, especially on Labor Day as you are getting out to enjoy the day. Make sure you, you stay hydrated. 103 in, in Salt Lake City today. So this is going to surpass our daily record. It's going to add to our triple digit days this year. You can see the low 100s all across the Wasatch Front. 108 in St. George, upper 90s in Milford, even Evanston, you're reaching the low 90s low 90s in Park City. And as we take a look at Southern Utah, my goodness, look at this heat as we go into tomorrow, 111 degrees. And you can see good news is on the way. We're going to start to see a drop by Friday into Saturday. We'll be back down to the mid 90s with some of that monsoonal moisture that's going to kick into gear from the south. And that's going to bring us a chance for rain showers on Sunday. Hallelujah for that. Northern Utah, my goodness. Next couple days, they are going to be absolute scorchers. 104 tomorrow and 105 on Wednesday. This is unheard of for September. But the good news is, and I'm holding on to this, this is good news. We're going to drop down to the mid 90s on Friday. That's what I was talking about by our cool down. Not much of a cool down because we're still well above average, but that is much cooler than 104 degrees Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll be back down to the low to mid 90s by next weekend. So I take that as good news, my friends. <laughs> God, me too, Danny. Me too. <laughs> like, any way to get out of the triple digits, Please. it's going to be a great day. Yeah.